So what about the hijackers? On September 14, 2001, the Department of Justice released the names of the alleged 19 hijackers. But on September 23rd, the BBC reported that Walid al-Sheri was alive and well in Casablanca, Morocco. They also tracked down Abdulaziz Alamari, who was an engineer with Saudi Telecom and lost his passport while studying in Denver. In the same article, FBI Director Robert Mueller admitted that the identity of several of the hijackers is in doubt. So how many hijackers turned up alive? At least nine of them. Walem al-Sheri is alive and well. Mohand al-Sheri is alive in Saudi Arabia. Khaled al-Midar is a computer programmer in Mecca. Salem al-Hazmi works at a chemical plant in Yanbu, Saudi Arabia. Saeed al-Gamdi is training to be a pilot in Tunis. Ahmed al-Nami is an administrative supervisor for Saudi Airlines. We already covered Walid and Abdul Aziz. And last but not least, Mohammed Atta's father claimed to receive a phone call from his son on September 12th. On September 20th and 27th, Mueller admitted on CNN that there is no legal proof to prove the identities of the hijackers. Indeed, after all, not even the official autopsy for Flight 77 lists the hijackers. And the opening paragraph makes no mention of their absence. So, if there's no proof that the hijackers were members of Al-Qaeda, or if they were even on the plane in the first place, what justification do we have for bombing Afghanistan?